feel like it's been a while since I've done a full day of eating and coming off of my summer rut episode, I was thinking, okay, so when I feel like I'm in a summer rut with my nutrition, what does a full day of eating look like? And in particular, what does it look like on a Sunday? So for me, work doesn't really change over the summer. The kids schedule with daycare doesn't really change over the summer. And so I still use Sunday as my reset day for a lot of things. Here's what I mean by that. I'm not starting over with my nutrition. It's just the day of the week that I choose to start the week from. So rather than the old me who used to wait until Monday to get back to things, I, I don't really go off track all that much, meaning I'm still filling my day with mostly sustenance foods. Just It just so happens that some days I might have more like higher calorie celebratory drinks or foods than others. So I'm not starting over on Sunday, but I'm choosing to start my week on Sunday. And there's something about having my structure for the week start on that day rather than Monday that really sets the tone for me to already feel like I'm crushing it before Monday even starts. So I'm gonna share with you a full day of eating, but I wanna show you how I structured it or put it into my daily routine for my reset for the week. So on today's episode, full day of eating with a Sunday reset and what that looked like. Okay, we happen to be going to Denmark in like a week. And I was already thinking ahead as to what needed to get done for the business and what I needed to get to my marketing team, what I needed to do to take care of my team and the Angie method to make sure everybody was settled and good to go. So this Sunday looked slightly different because I did have some work that I wanted to complete, but I still started out the day the exact same way I normally do on a Sunday, which is with a workout. So rather than waiting for Monday, I like to start on Sunday. So I've already got one done and I feel great going into the week. And we did a family workout. And so the boys love to be in there with Paul and I. Paul and I like to start our, our week out together like that. So we did a family lift session. And then after that, we came in and I made, what did I have? Hold on, I, I wrote it down here because I this was a couple days ago and I'm just doing the intro right now. Uh, that's right. I had a protein shake for breakfast. And so I'm really into Jocko's brand of protein powder right now. A, all the flavors taste good. And B, I feel like it doesn't bloat me or make me feel weird. So I made a chocolate peanut butter with banana protein shake. And then the boys wanted to go tool around on their Jeep and fine by me because if we go on a walk earlier in Texas, it's 103 degrees. So you gotta get out before 10 a.m. So we worked out. I had a protein shake. I brought my protein shake um, with me on the go as we tooled around in their Jeep and went on a walk. And then I knew I was about to get into some work. So I had a energy drink, another Jocko product. And then the boys went and played at grandma's and I dove into some work for some things I needed to get done. I was getting ready for an interview I was doing with one of our clients, Carrie. So got her progress photos ready to go. We have a bunch of free events that we do in our Angie Method community group. So I like to kind of put up the program of events and what free trainings we're offering for the month. So I got that ready to go so I could share in Facebook and that way women kind of know which days we'll be doing free trainings and if they're interested in the certain topics that we're covering they can go ahead and just register for those so we did a, a back to school back to bombshell workshop which i actually did on thursday so if you want that replay i'll put the description in or the link in the comments below and you can grab that replay but I was getting ready for that and then getting ready for, we do like a, a Q and A team round table where our community members who aren't in the program can ask any questions. So I got that one ready to go. And then we're also doing our meal prep, meal prep tips and tricks, best strategies that we like to use when you get back to school and you're transitioning into a new season and the school year. So that one will be at the end of the month. So once I got all that done, I was ready for meal number two. So meal number two, I did uh, corn tortillas with egg whites, some shredded 
cheese in there and bacon. So I did a bacon egg white taco and then I had a side of strawberries for some carbs. And then I had done a bunch of meal prep the day before, so you can see my little picture with some of my meal prep. And I'm really into beets, which I had made in the Instant Pot, so then I had a side of beets with that meal. And then I got, honestly, I got back to more work after that. And then I, let's see what else I did. I'm checking here so I don't forget. Okay, went and picked the boys back up. We got home, and for dinner, I'll be honest, I don't have a picture of this. When I went to pick them up at Grandma's, because that's where they were hanging out, I had a sliver of coconut custard pie. I had a couple bites of pork ribs because she had some barbecue ribs there. And I had a few peanut M&Ms. And so I was gonna have a little bit more for dinner, but I was like, ah, I kinda wanted a couple bite licks in taste. So I kept dinner really simple with some zucchini noodles and ground beef, Parmesan cheese, fresh parsley, and then I put salt, pepper, red pepper flakes, and onion powder on that. And then I wrapped up with dessert, which were my two favorite, or my two favorite things right now, H-E-B cowboy cookies and these Leah like healthy bites you find them in the grocery store, you have to buy them. This one was the sun butter one. They are phenomenal, but I've had the cookie, uh, what is the cookie dough and the birthday cake, all equally delicious. And so that was what the full day of eating looked like. I'm making sure I did, I forgot I started the day with coffee before my energy drink. So before the boys were up, Paul and I were sitting on the back porch enjoying some coffee and I'm really into the Califia Farms almond milk creamer, cookie butter flavor. So I had that with a little extra splash of milk in my coffee. And I think that was it. So that was me kind of just spacing out where I wanted my food to be to support me to start the week and to feel really good moving into it. So it was filled with a lot of sustenance foods that I had already prepped. So on Sundays, I'm always thinking about how do you want to feel come Monday? Where I used to just on Sundays, if I'm being completely honest, I would start with donuts or pastries. I would still probably have a burger for lunch. Then I would start to feel a little bit guilty and I'd feel like I was undoing all my work. So I would have a single ingredient clean meal and I would still have dessert and I'd wake up on Monday and I hadn't done really anything on Sunday. There was no working out. There was no intention with work on Sunday. There was no walking. There was no focus on sustenance food. And I wake up Monday feeling gross. And so now when I think about my full day of eating on Sunday, I try to just fill it up with a bunch of sustenance ingredients and still have a couple enjoyment pieces. I try to focus on some type of movement and connection with the family. And it just so happens that this Sunday I did have to do a little bit of work, but I love my work. So it was all good to go. So I think that's it. That's what a full day of eating and having caffeine looked like on my Sunday reset. That's it. So that's all I got for today's episode. If you are brand new and just watching this for the first time, welcome to the Angie Method YouTube channel. This is my little place and space to share my food, fitness, fun, and a little bit of mindset with those other professional busy moms who also are looking to be healthy and fit physically and mentally. So welcome. I'm glad you're here. And if you liked the episode, make sure that you hit that like button, drop me a comment of what you guys want to see in the future, and I'll see you on the next one. Chat soon.